This documentary is so important, not just to fans of MLS or Columbus Crew, but fans across the world. When Sean Kelly, uh, a guy from Columbus, got in touch with us and told us the story and, and what he was trying to do, the film that he was trying to make, Ball Street had to be involved. We had to back that cause because it's something that we've seen in Britain. Yeah, I mean, you, you look at the damage it's done to Wimbledon. Uh, they moved 70 miles up the road. Uh, West Ham, the damage it's causing by moving stadium. But this instance is it's, it's so much more severe than that. Their entire club is being moved 800 miles from Columbus to Austin, Texas. It's, it's, it's very, very sad. And, and the thing that any football fan should feel with this is that what if this was my team? That's what Columbus Crew fans are going through. If you want to watch the full documentary, then go over to the Long Ball Street channel. We'll put a link in the description and at the end of this video. But if you don't know the full story about Columbus Crew and the hashtag Save the Crew Movement, then check this out. So the story broke uh, on a Tuesday night, and um, it, it was uh, it was it was surreal. I got a, a text message from a friend of mine named John Zadar. Uh, he found out about it about half an hour before Grant Wall broke the story uh, from Sports Illustrated, and I didn't believe it. I saw it, and I, I was just stunned. I remember seeing the headline, and I thought it wasn't real. I thought, this, this can't happen. This isn't happening. This, this can't happen in Columbus. It, it, was, it just didn't feel like real life and uh, I didn't feel like I was attached to reality at all. If you're not a soccer fan, I don't think today has to be a day where you go, oh, well, I don't care about soccer, so this doesn't affect me. This is a pro sports team in Columbus. This is a team that has been in this league from the beginning. Major League Soccer, when it was formed, the Columbus crew were the first team that Major League Soccer had. Not, not one of the first the first phone lines are open 614-821-9710 is the phone number by all means call in anthony precourt that's the number call in and clarify anything where i'm wrong here clarify where i've got it wrong that you didn't plan to do this from day one we've long thought of austin as a potential ideal fit for a major league soccer team a very most attractive untapped market in, in in the united states for major league soccer we want soccer to be successful in every marketplace and and uh we both believe that austin can be a be a great MLS market. A bunch of us had just kind of arrived at the thought that we'd go to Hendock's pub and kind of commiserate and, and just be sad together. It, it kind of felt like a wake. I was direct messaging on Twitter with, with Chris Doran and uh, something he said just triggered something in my head. At that moment, I stopped being depressed and stopped being a uh, a victim of the circumstance and I decided that I was going to go to Hendox and um, I was going to tell everybody there that, that as long as there were no final answers we still had a shot at this and it wasn't over. When uh, I heard Precourt speak at his teleconference on the 17th of October I was a little more than 98 percent sure that they were def they were leaving. Now I had, what I had no idea of was the possibility that they could be saved by a grassroots group that sprang up from the earth seemingly, or, totally organically, and, and they've been heartening those people. Um, they're the only chance, in my opinion, the pressure they put on the league and the, the way they've uh, brought fans together all over the country. The city, the county, the private sector has stepped up our efforts to support the crew in every way uh, possible, every way that we've been asked. Uh, and so we're disappointed uh, uh, to hear uh, uh, the news today and the way that we've heard it. You said the way that you guys heard about it. How, how did you find out? Uh, by reading news accounts. Pre-court. Precourt just went ahead and started to move the team before he told anyone in the city what he was doing. You may financially own them, but what you don't own is, is the culture. What you don't own is the spirit that the fans have. What you don't own is the passion and the loyalty. You don't own any of that. And there's nothing, there's no dollar amount that can fix this or that can can make this right. And, and you can't claim ownership of that because that's what makes the crew great. That's what makes the crew great, not the owner. He did go behind the city's back 
This started with the October 17th announcement, and until the 16th of October, the city knew nothing about that announcement. This morning we have a guest with us, Mr. Morgan Hughes. Uh, we are here, hashtag save the crew campaign. It's nice to see the, the scarves around the necks of so many of you today. Uh, it's a big day. It is. Uh, we're starting it off on the right foot. We, uh, we try to keep in mind that the way that we communicate our message is as important as the message itself. Uh, it's a little tough uh, dealing with uh, an owner who seems dead set on, on taking the team out of Columbus. Because we don't have a button we can press that crew is saved. We have to do things like this. The MLS say they are about community. They have a star on their new crest that says they're about community, but they want to move this team, the team that started MLS, to a different city. That's not talking about community. That's blindsiding a community. That's lying to a community. If it can happen to our team, the first team to start MLS, it can happen to any team. I've, I've been here since quite literally day one. I mean, my, my older brother and I, my, my very first memory of this organization, my dad and I, we were at OSU Stadium for that game, for that win. We were here from the birth. So taking this team out of Columbus, I mean, you're taking another family member from me. I've known him for 22 years. I live in Charleston, West Virginia, and uh, I didn't trust MLS when it first started, but some people talked me into coming up to Columbus Crew Stadium, and uh, the minute I walked in the door, I fell in love with this team. I can't think about life without the crew right now. I got to do everything I can to try to help. If I could tell you all of my stories, you wouldn't have time on your camera. This team is family to me, and uh, not only the fans, but the players, the staff. Everything about this place is my home. It's where I belong, and the crew belongs here so that I can be here as well. It's, uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's a major part of my life. We don't support this league because it's the best league in the world. We can all be fans of the Bundesliga or the EPL or whatever. We support this league because this is our home. This is our team. Would any of you follow an Austin FC crew? No, no, not a chance. No. If anything, you'd stop following the MLS altogether. Yeah. You'd stop following it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't I, support another team. This is not over. If you came here for a funeral, if you thought this was awake, you're in the wrong place. But I know you're not. This is not over. Tell everyone you know. Don't quit. Please don't quit. I know you won't. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet.